welcome to this video tutorial for Polypin. Uh, in this video we're going to take a closer look at Polypin for Push 2. This has been specially updated just for the Push 2 control surface. First thing you'll need to do uh, is drag the Polypin Push 2 version to a track and make sure you select it in the menu. This will take over the button matrix as the Polypin device uh, has control over it whilst it's running. You can still switch to other tracks and they behave as normal or you can switch to session mode easily and go back and Polypin is doing its thing only on the track that you've got so that you've got it on currently. So how Polypin works, um, it's a probabilistic polyrhythmic uh, performance rhythm sequencer. It has three different sequencer modes. There are other videos going through all the different modes and how they work so this is just really how the devices integrated into push 2 so please check the other videos out so the first thing you want to do you've got eight different sequences so you can have up to eight different sounds being sequenced at a time each one can have a different sequence mode probability euclidean or classic i've already got some settings loaded in here so just to show you how it works if we just have ableton running hit the first bottom row of pads and it will start a sequence so this one is just playing this sequence in the Euclidean mode. Uh, you can see the next one is Euclidean but I've got a different setting in there. And we can re-trigger these. Each of the sequences can have its own rate which you can choose in here. Um, you can change things like accelerators which speed up or slow down a sequence. We can turn them off. So you can see in this sequencer, I'm actually using the classic sequencer. Okay, so as the sequences start running, you'll see that a corresponding button lights up on the scene launch buttons. These control whether the sequencer is active or not, so you can turn it off here. You can also arm the sequencer, so if you don't want to trigger it with the bottom row of pads, you can arm it and it will wait for the next available bar until it comes in. And turn it off again there. If you'd rather use the top row of buttons, you hit the layout button and now the top row buttons are being used to arm and deactivate sequences. There's lots of features for each sequencer. There are presets for each sequencer, and in the sequencer mode, we have the accelerator. As I mentioned, this controls whether a, a particular sequencer is being accelerated or slowed down, and there's various settings for this, like it can run in whole dotted notes, triplets. You can have this respond to the velocity, so how hard you hit the pad, whether it's actually going to speed up or slow down or do it in a certain style. 
um, whether it snaps um, to the next bar or half bar measure um, just to keep it sailing in time or you can not have that on and it can be quite free and loose. You can also turn loop off. What loop does is as the sequence is running it only plays once so when it comes back down again it ends so this means you have to keep interacting with it. So what you might want to do here is have a couple of sequences running in loop mode and then one that isn't so you have to keep playing. Like so. As I said, there's plenty of other videos showing the different features of Polypin, so please check them out and the instruction manual as well.